Hello, this is State Senator Dale Ryder. Today is Thursday, March 25th, and I'm talking to you once again from my office here in the state capitol. Today is the last day of this session week for the Illinois Senate, and I want to talk to you about a couple issues that are important for you. First, I wanted to visit with you about a meeting that I literally just came from, and that was a budget briefing that was held by Governor Quinn and his office staff down on the second floor of the Capitol. The purpose of the briefing was for the governor and his staff to tell us where they are with regards to their budget plans and budget cuts that they have talked about since last August. We learned really very little new in the budget briefing. Even though the governor's office took an extra month to give their budget address, and that budget address was two weeks ago, their office is still firming up details on how to deal with the fiscal year 10 and fiscal year 11 budget crises, including a number of details. I, and I know a number of other legislators on both sides of the aisle, anxiously await the governor to come forth with his detailed plans and his blueprint for how Illinois will deal with the fiscal crisis that faces us. On another note, and a lighter note, I suppose, lawmakers are now heading home for their two-week break. And this will be an opportunity for myself and my colleagues in the General Assembly to travel around their respective districts and talk to you, the constituents and the voters, and get feedback more than we have since we've been spending time in the Capitol here on the issues that are important to you. I would invite each and every one of you, if you're my constituent, certainly reach out to me. Talk to me about what's important to you and what you think Springfield needs to be doing. Even if I don't represent you, make sure and reach out to your elected legislator. This two-week period is a prime opportunity for constituents and voters to make sure their elected representatives understand how important they believe Springfield's actions are coming up in the May deadline. So with that, I want to thank you again for spending a little time with me in my Capitol office, and it's great to see you. Thank you.